Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Friday to everybody. So uh, I'm coming on today to chit chat, uh, share a little haul, just a very, very small haul and share a project with you guys. Um, I still can't seem to be to paper craft right now. Uh, I'm just, I'm struggling you guys. I keep trying to get something done and it's just not happening and it's crunch time now so I do have to send a package tomorrow so um, I'm gonna work on my project all day today if it kills me <laughs> so um, anyway let me just go ahead and start with a very quick uh, Dollar Tree haul now I went to Dollar Tree in search of those cute little puffy panda stickers that I saw a couple of people haul and I couldn't find them so of course I only went to one Dollar Tree and I know of another one and I should have gone yesterday but um, my husband went to pick me up from my nail appointment so I didn't have time um, usually I drive myself but he was off and so I was able to get my nails done so, ooh, let me share that. So look at my nails, you guys. I always feel so good after I get my nails done. Um, uh, as you saw on my last video, my nails were, ugh. <laughs> they looked really bad. They were peeling and I picked on them. So yeah. So um, I got this pretty, oh, it's almost, I'm not even sure what the color is. Um, well, this looks very lavender, but it really isn't. It's actually a deeper purple. Almost like... No, it's darker than this. Sorry. I have my little cupcake stand here that I'll share with you in a minute. Um, <laughs> that I got at Hobby Lobby the other day. Not the other day. It was last week, I think. Um, and I forgot to share it with my last haul. But anyway... Yeah, so the reason I wanted to talk about my nails today was because she used this new technique on my nails and she called it like this mirror finish. Although it doesn't really look like it. it let me see if I can do a close up. Um, it's more like a pearlescent finish actually because she used this white powder over um, the nail gel, the nail polish, the gel um nail polish. So this is actually a darker purple, um, but it's not that dark. It's like maybe, oh, I think it kind of looks like this color. I think it's a little bit deeper, like this color. But then she put this white powder over it and um, she was calling it like a mirror finish, but uh, if you use the white, because it comes in different colors, it actually this one comes out a little more pearlescent, as you can see. It's really neat. It's really cool. I love the color that um, she she used. So, um, and we were experimenting. She likes to experiment with my nails. But anyway, okay, I'm going to try to be quick. Um, but yeah, just so if you guys like to go get your nails done at the salon like I do. Um, and she said it's new, but I don't know. I don't know how up to date she is, but um, the powder comes in white. It comes in different colors, but the gold and the silver comes out like kind of metallic. So it really looks like a mirror finish because um, she showed me her nail and, you know, she had a little sample on one of her nails. So, um, yeah, I that's what she called it, a mirror finish. So I don't know what it's really called, but... I'm super happy with my nails. See? <laughs> I just wish they matched my toes because I told her, can't you do it on my toes too? But yeah, no, she, I don't know. She said no. So <laughs> uh, anyway, sometimes she does what I tell her to do, but sometimes, um, you know, she has a mind of her own. She'll convince me to do something else. Okay. But she's, she's a good friend. So <laughs> anyway, um, let me just have a little tea. Ooh, and I found this awesome tea. Okay, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. 
now I'm talking about teas, but I just have to tell you guys, because if you like oranges, this tea is so good with a little bit of honey. So Lipton makes this tea, and I don't know if I've talked about it, but it, it's the best tea ever. I mean, it's better than my chamomile tea, and I love chamomile, but um, it's by Lipton, and it's um, the flavor is orange. That's it, just orange, and it has it's an herbal tea, and it's decaffeinated, which caffeine free, which I love because I can have it any time of the day. So it's delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to show you guys the um, the little packet, which is downstairs. But anyway, um, so back to my Dollar Tree haul. Sorry guys, um, we ended up just getting snacks and other things, maybe like four or five things because I couldn't find those stickers that I was talking about. So um, I just love the snacks now that they have at the Dollar Tree because um, my daughter loves this watermelon sour patch. It's And she got me into that too. So um, it's so good. It is so good. So yeah, we got um, a few of those. Um, she also got some, is it Mike's and Ike's or Ike's and Mike's? She got some of those and... Her Swedish, her s Swedish uh, fish that she absolutely loves. So yeah, ended up getting mostly snacks. And, um, but I did find some more organza bags. So I picked up the pink one because I think last time I only picked up the blue and the uh, green one, the lime green. So they did have the white and they also had the cream. So these are always handy when you're um, doing, you know, uh, racks and whatnot. So I thought I'd pick some up and it comes in eight in a bag. They, they are three by four inches. So um, these are fun to, to just have in your stash. So Dollar Tree, yeah, love it. And then um, I did find some sequins, fun sequins. And I thought this was really cute for the... Uh, fall so I am so ready for for fall now um, and Halloween and I'm going to show you guys what I did <laughs> as far as Halloween is concerned um, but that'll be later okay and then I also got this uh, what is it called it's like a little Tupperware container but what's awesome about it I, and I, my husband took it already, but what's awesome about it is that inside the Tupperware, there were these little containers and they were a dollar. I mean, you know, the little Tupperware, which is about that big, and these were inside them and it was a dollar. So you can't beat that. But look, so now I can put like sequins or beads, whatever. So um, if you find that at your Dollar Tree, grab them because... Um, you know, they're good for storage. So I thought I'd share that in case you guys are, you know, trying to organize. Um, okay, so that's that's it. Oh, no, wait. My glass gems. So I have a project in mind, so I got some of these. And these are the really large ones, heavy, which I needed the weight. So, so I, um, I got those. So, yeah, that is all. See? Very small. Oops. Sorry. I'm trying to get used to my, my new camera, you guys, and I don't I don't have it all set up like well I'm always bumping my camera anyway. <laughs> so um let's see, I'm at nine minutes. Sorry, my throat's a little <clears throat> dry this morning, so I'm drinking tea. So um like I said, I I cannot get into my paper crafting, but I have to do it today. Um, but I have been doing my beads, and I think I had showed you guys the one that I had created for Mimi, um, which is this one here, but I paired it up with another one, so this is how this is going to look like. So remember I showed you guys this one, and then um, I did this one. I don't think I shared this, right? I love this blue. It's so pretty. But yeah, that's how it's going to look. So let me see if I can show you on my wrist. 
I am just dropping it, aren't I? Kind of hard to put it on because of the ring on my finger. But, um, yeah. Okay. Obviously, I don't want to break it or anything. But, um, isn't that pretty? Okay. That didn't even work, did it? <laughs> but, yeah, this one is using stretchy, stretchy band. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, like the Michaels um, bracelets. And I love getting those, especially when they go on sale. So, yeah, this is my nautical themed one. And then I made another one for my friend. Um, and I did a pink one. So, and it's, again, nautical theme. And I wanted to use these charms here. So this one's a little bit different. Um... I don't know yet. I haven't decided. It's a little too, you know, because I used the same beads, whereas this one I didn't. Um, I might just tweak this one or I might use a different um, pair. My pairing might be a little different. I might use some different beads. So anyway, yeah, that's what I've been doing. See, I've been making beads. I mean, it's not like I'm not doing anything, but I am creating, and this one I made for my daughter, but I'm still going to make her another one, like with a chain, to pair it up, and that's her emoji one. So, that's what I've been doing, because I just, I lost my mojo for paper crafting. I just have. I don't know what it is, but like I said, I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> So, um, and I've been watching videos and you guys really inspire me, but I'm just, I don't know what it is with me. I can't seem to get into it, but I will share something soon. I promise. I promise because I have to mail out something tomorrow. So it will be completed. So I'm probably going to be back on tonight doing another video, um, or sharing the video anyway with you guys. So... I hope everyone has a great Friday and a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.